Attainable Green, Fernanda Nascimento Orchids and Succulents, Sveta Weisberger, Orchid Passions in Deutschland were so kind to jump on to this Dendrobium Victoria Regina update as part of the Care Collab series because mine is in bloom. Ta-da! Over there. We'll get to those shortly, but I wanted to show you the amazing four growths, how they are progressing as well. We are now getting temperatures of about 24 degrees Celsius here in southern Spain during the day. It's not exactly warm, to be honest. There's still a chill in the wind, which is probably a really good thing for this dendrobium because she is starting on more new growths. So here's a new growth starting at the base already. And this is the latest new growth that has just come out. I hope to get at least two more growing at some point from another point of this base here. That would be nice, seeing as that is her standard. And then the little keiki that was mounted or removed from the mother plant last year and then mounted on the top here, it's a very slow little grower. Considering what a mature plant is capable of in the same amount of time, look at that. And the keiki is just up here doing its little thing all by its lonesome, but it's still growing. But look at these, and they are still growing. They're looking so much better as well because I had a little issue with some spotting in the back. I'm going to be losing these back leaves down here. I had some spotting, so I treated it with alcohol infused with garlic. It seems to have stopped. I don't see any progress. All the other leaves are looking lush and wonderful. And the canes are filling out really, really nicely as well. And I love that color on the canes. Just remarkable as they start to mature, they start to fatten up and they get this gorgeous, gorgeous color. That is from the light. She right now is in permanent bright shade because of the angle of the sun going way above the south facing blooming alley. So there is no direct sun on her at all. And she won't have any direct sun for the coming months until about September when the angle of the sun drops again. So full bright shade is what she gets at this point in time. And still you get the anthocyanin around the sheath of the cane because she doesn't have it underneath. If I can show you, it's obvious. You see how little there is underneath compared to the top. Yeah, so bright shade, plenty of light, clearly. And a big surprise for me this year is the fact that I have blooms. Amazing, sorry about my fabulous artsy presentation here with the rusty grating. I do apologize. Currently with the sun on the other side of the patio, I do struggle with proper lighting without getting the colors washed out. But I have nine blooms the last time I counted. Dum Dum here messed up. I'm trying to protect the buds from getting watered on. So one time I thought, don't cut any corners, take the mount off, water it flat, let it drip over the edges of the mount as opposed to down onto the buds. And I snapped off a bud. Yeah, didn't do that again. <laughs> In the process of trying to protect the buds, I actually lost a bud. Oh, well, let me get down a little bit further because she is just delightful. I'm going to show you something because I have two separate ones up here. These are not one and the same plants. Back in the day they were on offer so I bought two just to hedge my bets and secure success. If one doesn't make it hopefully the other one would. Turns out they're all doing superb. No complaints but yes let's have a look-see at the blooms because that is why I asked everybody to join me if they would be so inclined to do so. And thank you once again for doing that. Look at that. Not quite true, even though we are in the shade. There's, it's a little bit more purplish as opposed to the darkish fuchsia that you see here. But if you look up here and you look down here, you can actually see that there are two different kinds 
of blooms. And that's the two different kinds of Dendrobia Victoria Regina that I have on the mount. This one is so much more saturated and I much prefer this one. If I were in a shop and I had these two next to each other and I had had to choose, I would go for the much more saturated one with the very faint little tips of white around the petals and sepals right at the edge. If I didn't have a choice, I would also buy this one, definitely, because it is also beautiful, but it is not as profound and solid as this bloom right here. It goes to show how different Dendrobium Victoria Reginas can be, despite the fact that both are getting the same treatment. You can see that this one has a little bit more flares. There's more flaring right at the edge, and the color isn't as saturated either. Last year when I got the blooms, I thought, well, it's a first time bloomer. That's what they do. Well, for me, it was a first time bloomer, but that's what they do. They don't come onto their own until they're a little bit more mature. It turns out that the two different plants are blooming and showing different blooms. And these were the kind of blooms I had last year. And now this one blooms for me the first time. And it has a completely different saturation of color. What you see now on the angle up here, that is true. That is the true color of both of them. Funny how the light reflects. And I'm not using a flash. But this is the bluish purple that you can see. That is the true, true color also of this one right here. Funny little thing has happened though. Let me show you back here. This little bloom resembles these ones over here and not the ones that are more saturated. Isn't that interesting? So maybe this was an additional cane that was stuck into the pot at the time and actually doesn't belong to the same plant down here. I don't know if that's making sense. Just trying to point that out to you that I have two canes that are blooming exactly the same, quite saturated. Oh, look at that lip. And then I have one little cane up here, bless its little heart, also blooming with one bloom. That looks like the ones next door. More similar to, maybe you could say it's even a little bit different even to this one right here because it has like a little heart-shaped offset in its center leading up to the purple and then the little white tip. Now that I look at it really, really closely through the lens, I've got three different types of Dendrobium Regina on one mount. I hope that that was clear because I can see the difference. This one, this one, and this one, they are different. Oh, but they are gorgeous. I do not care. I do not care. And here in Southern Spain to be growing a cold to cool grower and it doing this for us, that is special. No complaints here. And right now I am fertilizing it at 300 parts per million, just to make sure that there aren't any hot winds that are gonna burn my moss off at the base of the mount. I actually go first with a regular plain RO water sprayer and mist the mount down and then I apply 300 parts per million on it. It is in bloom. It is still actively growing. It is growing new growths. This one needs to have all the help it can get right now in order to, so that we can get all these canes to continue growing successfully. And there's something else I wanted to show you. Bear with me. If I can get this off without breaking anything. <laughs> the roots are coming out through the mount. Okay. Now that is going to be interesting. It'll be a while before I take this off the mount. That is for sure, but still, here we go. If we think of the future, it's going to be an interesting future for this one. But yeah, I'm trying to protect the moss, trying to make sure that it doesn't die on me. So I'm not going to chuck 300 parts per million on that without preparing it first with plain RO water. 
I'm just checking for the base while we're here and updating. Nope, there's only these two for the time being. But you know what? She's not done yet, look. There's another swelling over here. And there is another swelling coming on another cane right there. <laughs> She's not done yet. I hope I can get them to bloom. I'm not entirely sure because with the hot winds starting, it can be that they will dry out just like this one did right here. Fingers crossed, we might actually get ourselves more blooms than we initially thought. Sorry for that jiggle. But here we are. The full orchid from afar with her blooms down below. I don't know if my canes are going to droop like that. Clearly, the canes that you see now that are in bloom were stuck upright in a pot when I received her. So the canes that I'm growing now, we'll see if the weight will eventually pull them down. She is definitely not in the way with where she is positioned and located this time of year. She's high enough. I do not bump into those canes. So that's a good thing. Want to say thank you very, very much again to Attainable Green, Fernanda Nacimento, Orchids and Succulents, and Sveta Weisberger, Orchid Passions in Deutschland, for accommodating me, for joining me on this quick update on the Dendrobium Victoria Regina within the Care Collab series. Your time is very much appreciated. Links to their videos and channels are in my description below. Let's go and have a look, see, as to how their Dendrobium Victoria Reginas are doing in their climate and setup. Have yourselves a wonderful day, everybody. Appreciate you being here. Please stay safe and take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.